What's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we are talking about two wireless earbuds from Razer and I'm going to be using these for my Steam Deck. Now the reason why I went with Razer is because Razer is a product brand that is tailored towards gamers so I figured why not get a pair of gaming so so called quote unquote earbuds for the Steam Deck since it is a gaming device so we're going to see what's up with these now these right here are the hammerhead true wireless x and these are just the hammerhead true wireless now these were brand new as well but i ain't gonna lie i have been using them i opened them already but i can give you guys a little bit of a review and how i feel about them now that i've used them for a couple of weeks now but these are going to be fresh out of the box and we'll go through that so why don't we start with these? Uh, mm, let's start with these. <laughs> All right. So without further ado, let's open up this box and see what we got. All right. Water resistant design, 13 millimeter drivers, ultra low latency. I really do like this box. Uh, Razer does a really good product uh, with their boxes. I really enjoy how they package them. So. Let's open these babies up. These were about $40, I believe, on Amazon. So they're fairly cheap. Um, shout out to my man Pronto, that knife. So these are fairly cheap, but um, you know, just looking for some not too expensive, you know, but from reputable brand earbuds and uh, go from there. Back of the box is just typical ultra low latency for immersive sound and competitive gaming um touch enable voice assistant compatible that's all good bluetooth 5.0 auto pairing that's good so you know see what's up these boys are sealed and they're nice Ooh, some instructions right there all right Typical, uh, you know, look at that. For gamers, by gamers. Let's see what's up with this. All right, now I ain't gonna lie, I really like this packaging. Even though these only cost me thirty nine bucks on Amazon, I feel like I'm unpackaging a hundred dollar product. Let's see what we got right here. Oh, so we got a little sling for the charger case. I probably won't use it, but it's cool to have extra ear tips right here and then we have the USB-C charging cord and that's decent size I don't know if y'all can see that that's pretty good all right that over there and then we have the case and it's kind of funny because they sent these out and how they package them without the earbuds in the case usually they <laughs> you know when you open the earbuds they're actually charging already, but these things uh, probably ain't gonna have much juice in them anyway to test them out right now. So you look at that, the light is red, so you know the case is dead. But um, the case, I ain't gonna lie, feels pretty cheap. Um, yeah, definitely feels cheap. Very plasticky. That's the little slot for the sling right here. Put that in there. On to the earbuds. Okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, you know, basic old AirPod design. Um, but I'm not upset about it though because with the AirPods, these have to be probably the most comfortable earbuds that I have ever put in my ear. They're not noise canceling, but I forget that these things are even in my ear sometimes, and these are the Gen 2. I haven't even gotten the the other AirPods uh, that have the little uh, noise canceling gummy part right there. But I'm so happy with these and the quality that uh, I don't feel the need to upgrade. But um, the AirPods are definitely longer, but yeah, typical design. So, all right. So that's pretty straightforward uh, unboxing. I'm gonna put these in the case so we can uh, see how that looks. Okay. I'll be using these for the Steam Deck. Um, 
I really like it because the case is small enough to put into my case. I don't know if you guys watched my video. If you haven't, go ahead and check it out. But um, you can just fit those right in there just like that. And boom, we in there. Bow. So, all right. Looks like that's going to be it for those. Okay, go on, listen. Put this off to the side. And we're we're going to check out these. We're going to check out these right here now when i first got these earbuds i did not know this but these things actually have a green backlit la uh, razor as a laser <laughs> uh green backlit razor logo now i opened these babies up and i was greeted to a nice beautiful let's check this out Look at that, wow, way bigger case. Um, and I did try it in my Steam Deck case and it was definitely uh, pretty big. So I can show that to you guys as well. Let me put this right here, Bring this up. I mean, don't get me wrong, it will fit, but well, I guess it, I don't remember it fitting. Oh, Steam Deck came in there, that's why. Got the extra room. Look at that. So trying to put both of them in there. Yeah, it's gonna be uh popping up a little bit. I got the steam deck right here. And now you got this. So you're definitely pressurizing the screen, which I do have a screen protector on the steam deck. It tempered glass. We'll get this thing to focus right there. But I don't want no extra pressure on the screen if I don't have to. So having this one, and there goes the earbuds on the floor. But uh, having this case, they're about the same, but I don't know. It just feels extra fat in there. So, but yeah, now how I feel about these same thing, um, typical AirPod design, as you can see, um, let's pull those out again, right here. All right. All right, so um, they're definitely sticking with the AirPod design still on these, but these are actually elongated further. And the reason why is because I'm sure the battery inside of it needs to be bigger in order to change these lights or at least have them light up. So I ain't gonna lie, I wore these and um, I was in Walmart and you know, if you're looking for that clout, that clout, you know, people gonna see these and they're gonna see them lighting up in your ear and they're gonna be like, oh, what's that? And then that actually happened. And I was in Walmart. This dude was like, oh, you got the Razor earbuds. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, but to be honest, they don't sound that great. So, um, and I failed to go into the box, usual charger and ear tips, um, none fancy. But put that over there and I'm gonna pull up this app real quick. So this is the app that you wanna get and it's called Razer Audio. Now, I'm gonna hook these up. Hopefully they get hooked up. Let me just go to search for devices, allowed, allow. And now these should get hooked up because I had them hooked up once before. Okay, 2019 Hammerhead X Connect. These are connected or should be connected. And I'm gonna go through a couple of features. Now, I believe that the uh, regular hammerhead ones right here can get connected to the app as well. But we're gonna talk about it once I get this loaded up, hopefully. Just reconnecting. taking forever let me just do this once okay there it is so they want it to be in your ear okay so typical stuff you got the equalizer you got the game mode right now it's disabled I can have it active and then you have the uh, the phone that you have right here personalize your experience you know so just basic controls but Let's talk about the equalizer. So when I went to the equalizer and I changed these, I really didn't hear a difference. 
Now, I'm not saying Razor's a lie or nothing, but this definitely didn't really do anything when I was messing with it. I'm like, dude, these things sound the same. In fact, I felt like they sounded worse once I messed around with this. So, to be honest, I wasn't really feeling it. So, if you're going to buy these, you're buying them for the lights on the side and not the audio quality. So, that's the case closed. So, without further ado, that's going to be it for this video. Um... Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. I'm going to hook these up to the Steam Deck. And uh, hopefully they sound good. But first I'm going to charge them because they came dead out of the box. And uh, we're going to go from there. Peace out.